Ivan and Nabia have both already presented theirs, so. Well, what happened to the banana? <laughs> oh, you're, you're still muted if you're. <laughs> Here is Gigapets. <laughs> Gigapets is um, a web and hopefully mobile app, but mostly a web app uh, where parents can log their kids' food intake, and their GigaPets will actually um, show whether the food that their kids are eating helps them grow and flourish, or whether in struggle. And um, it's quite a funny tool, and if your GigaPet does not feel happy, your kids cannot engage with the GigaPet on their end of the of the um, application. So we're on the marketing page right now. Um, this is the landing page. We have a little hero section here. We have another call to action. And my little Gigapet crew right here. Mm -hmm. Some features for Gigapets is that it's easily, um, you can easily log the food intake. You can easily track their daily, weekly, and monthly averages. And it is, um, you can share with up to six members of your family. If we wanted to, um, oh, our About Us page. So this was actually um, whipped together for my um, team over Build Week. We have Winnie, who is the project lead, Eric, Dominique, and Jessica are front end developers. And um, Daniel is our back end, Robin is UI, Amber is UI, and me. <laughs> and eyebrows. <laughs> yep, eyebrows is there. <laughs> so um, let's go through a sign up process for GigaPet. So throughout all of the sign up process, um, the GigaPets are visual, you can, visible, you can start thinking about, oh, which one is David going to choose? And it'll be kind of cool. We don't have a second kid in this instance, so we don't want to do that. Um, and we have the option to do demos, but I will skip the demo for now. And we are now in the homepage of GigaPet. Um, their dashboard, which shows you the progress bars, um, the icons for logging food, and your summaries. You can um, see your daily, weekly, and monthly averages here. And then you also have a visual of the GigaPet and what state they are in, whether they're happy and healthy or not doing that well. So if we want to add a food entry, we click on one of the uh, food groups. Um, let's say we wanted a small portion and we can save that. Um, if we wanted to edit the food portion, we can say we want to edit, maybe a medium and save that. Um, and that is the overall view of the web version of GigaPet. I have a mobile version as well, where I can go through the sign-up process with you again. Um, sure, why not? And do we want to set up another kid? No, because we don't have another one, thankfully. And do we want a quick demo? Um, 
So I decided to do an onboarding demo for the mobile version. Um, that's essentially what I started out with. And um, as you can see, it's just a pretty smooth, less than two minute demo for you to be able to understand the way GigaPet works. Oh, we want to remove it. And now we are going to go to our summary. So now we're back in the summary. Everything is back as if we were in the actual functional stage of GigaPet. So the home page looks very similar to the dashboard. We can add food by clicking on this icon. And the process is very similar. We can change and remove by selecting which food category we want to be in. We can make it a large. And we're good. And there, that is GigaPets, guys. That's what I've been working on, day and night. Thank you. I <laughs> really, 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 really like the, the tutorial part. Um, you know, not every parent is, is tech savvy. Yeah. Uh, imagine grandparents. And I mean, it was super simple, quick a tutorial. I really like that. Yeah. yeah. And I think the text box for it was really nicely designed too, with the little arrow. That was really nice. I think it was just uh, very consistent with what the other fields that you have that you're using. So really good job on that. Yeah. Thank you. I love Gigapet. <laughs> <laughs> I was in there all day. <laughs> Not bad. That's funny. <laughs> No feedback, guys? Serena, what Serena was telling me that she had a nightmare about her project. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was so funny. She's like, I had a nightmare. I, yeah. I got in and I checked all the alignments. <laughs> yes. So it was so dream. funny. I had a dream because all of our files are accessible by everybody within um, the Lambda one. And this morning, I had a dream that somebody went in and screwed up all of my uh, alignment. So I just got up and the first thing I did was to go and check e each and every single one of my pages to make sure all the alignment was still good. Her <laughs> 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 Sabotage. <laughs> I thought they were only available for people to view though. Like we can't edit each other's stuff. Can oh we? no, you, you can go in and edit too. Yeah. You oh, can, but <laughs> it, would get, yeah. it would get saved in like version history. So you'd be able to see who messed, messed it up or. Oh yeah, yeah. that's right. You can turn it back though, you gotta pay for that. <laughs> yeah, so there's proof. I think people leave uh, like, you can, you can track them like. Uh, Awesome. Thank you, Serena. Kelsey, you want to share yours? Uh, sure. I can do that. Um, so I don't have the prototypes built out for the latest iteration. Um, I just have like pretty basic sign in, created account. The Facebook and Google profiles are kind of uh, like dummy pages for the sake of the users because when I was using, doing my testing, I had a lot of users be like, I want to be able to sign in with Facebook or Google. So I just like built this dummy in as part of the user flow. Um, and yeah, and then for the main part of um, the usability, you can search for like a restaurant or like the kind of meal that you had and you'll get like search options that come up related to that. Um, and then you can click on like, um, 
like what the meal was and it will take you kind of to like the little restaurant profile or whatever well yeah if it was like if you were searching for the restaurant it would take you to the restaurant profile if you were searching for the meals then it would take you right to the meal um and then you can indicate like when you had it you can add a photo if you want to um and then we have a simple like smiley face uh like rating system because i had a lot of users who express frustrations with star rating systems um and just like especially when like looking at other people's ratings of things being unsure of like if someone gave it four stars did they give it four stars because they liked the food but the service was really bad or was it vice versa and that can be really frustrating for someone who's looking for a really specific experience uh so the smile face uh dedicated to like very specific area like rating areas um is hopefully solving that uh usability issue and then we have a pop-up for navigation options once you've saved your changes uh and you have, so the reason why there's the save and the publish to the public is so that you can either save it for your own reference or you can publish it so other people can see. Um, and then we have, like, if you want to go back and, and look for some of your old reviews, we have like search filters for doing that. And yeah. And then we just have the like signing up for premium options down here. And then the desktop version, similar, but there's a lot more photos, um, like images mostly because we have the like space for it. Um, I also want to look at like the two different options of having with photos or without, because I actually had a decent amount of users who don't necessarily want to see photos apparently. Um, so yeah. Pretty simple stuff. I like that page. This one? Yeah. Thanks. And I have, um, like I have things split up into like, uh, this was when I was just messing with like the user flow. So like here I have like three different iterations of this screen because I was messing with like the size and placement of things. Um, similar for this, like messing with the size and placement of things. I had like restaurant, the like restaurant name over on this corner and then the menu was aligned with the search bar and decided I didn't like that. So, um, and I also needed to, uh, yeah. So I tried like moving this stuff um, over here and putting all of this in line, but was looking at like Yelp and stuff and they put like this information actually like over here, over on the right side. So I tried like kind of mimicking that i really like the home page one this guy yeah it seems because what i found about this app is it doesn't look like a lot of fun around food uh that's the one that showcases uh food foodies like to see food they like to see the different colors different textures i mean everything there's a lot of stuff with foods uh but when you go to the other pages, I just find it like, I would say very formal. Mm. Um, it, well, it's, I, I ate this, here's a picture, here's my review. Yeah. Uh, it, it doesn't really scream fun. <laughs> I don't know if, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Well, so like a lot of the users I talked to are actually people that work in the restaurant industry and eat out, out a lot because that's actually a, like a lot of people who work in restaurants also eat out a lot and they yeah, express <laughs> frustrations with like other people tend to take really crappy photos of food and it's like, yes, they do like to see good photos, but if they're seeing something that's posted by other people. They want to be really selective about 
whether or not they they have to look at that um so yeah i was trying to like kind of cater to both of those where ha you have areas where you are seeing photos and what people are posting but you also have areas where like uh you can choose not to and the idea is that there would be and this is like a stretch feature it's not something that's built into the app right now um but having it so users can customize depending on their preferences how much they're seeing like photos of food or not okay um, so yeah um yeah very nice awesome thank you kelsey mm -hmm. Anybody else have any other feedback? Um, everybody has presented, right, this year? I think so. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, if we're all done, if you all want to, we can, we can end this. Um, hop off, wait for your one-on-ones with Melissa or if there's anything else you guys want to talk, whatever, what works for you. Um, I had a quick question. So I was, um, do you know who Jasmine Muhammad is? Um, yeah, she's one of, the, one of the coordinators for student success. I see. So she reached out to me several days ago and she wanted oh, we have a meeting today. I'm not so sure what that meeting is, is about. Is it, is it, is it what what sort of feedback are they looking for i'm not I, i'm not sure um oh, i think she's okay. i think yeah. she's reached out to everybody at one point yeah like i think yeah, serena I met that. with her before i think oh, okay. christina met I with have. her before you have, I have. yeah <laughs> why are you shaking your what, head? Is it, what are those what are those meetings about <laughs> just for me it was feedback for lambda school in general just for overall or like specific things but you can ask her like okay yeah i think i will i just wasn't so sure what that meant okay cool cool anybody else anything else all good ready for yeah. the end? very ready for my very ready Whoa. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm thinking I need a DL day this weekend. Yep. DL day? You Disneyland. Now you're SL and do you need a DL day now? That's only for the DL. <laughs> yeah, well. I was thinking about going today, but then I was like, I don't know what time I get off technically, because today's a little different. <laughs> yeah. 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 My kid's birthday is on Monday, so the same day I start everything. <laughs> hey, happy birthday for us. I will. They're going to be Jack and Sally. It's so cute. Because their birthdays are on Halloween, you know. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Does everybody have their Halloween costumes figured out? I don't even have one. I haven't even, I haven't even thought about Halloween. <laughs> what is? <laughs> don't I know, I right? Have I haven't dressed for Halloween in shit. Look how cute these are. We got these at Target for like a dollar. They're like Halloween baskets to go with the Jack and Sally uh, oh. costumes. Isn't that cool? So cute. I was like, wow, these are so cool. They were only like a dollar. So yeah. I'm so stoked about that. Lord is too crazy for Halloween. -y. <laughs> what? Oh, Florida. Yeah. 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 You only see the kids in like the closed suburbs, you know. Mm -hmm. Gate access. Look, look. Why is Florida weird for Halloween? Look how cute they look. I'm so Aww. excited. <laughs> that like is Jack and Sally. I know. I was just like, yeah, we're totally we got doing the dog it. too. That's cool. Yeah, we got the dog. Yeah, he's cool. He lights up. But yeah. <laughs> he's actually right here. He ha he has like a thing that looks it's like 
it's a plastic, but it looks like a leash and it plugs in right here. So if you hold it, it looks like he's like levitating, oh. like he's floating. <laughs> it's really cool. I was like, this is the coolest toy. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. That is cool, yeah. yeah. I used to have one that was that leash thing with only a collar. 